it says that you as a Muslim, you can look at the Christians and the Jews as a, as a brothers. As I know the Quran, call us as an Aham, which means animals. Yeah, but the Quran say, uh, said, uh, fight the infidel. He didn't say fight the Christian. He didn't no. say fight the Jew. No, he said fight the Christian yeah, and the Jews. The chapter fight. 9, cha chapter, chapter 9, verse number 29, speak specifically about killing the Christians and the Jews. What? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go to my Quran now. Yeah, chapter 9. Uh, just chapter give me one nine. minute. Mm. Uh, uh, enough, yeah. Uh, mm. Chapter 9, yeah? Yeah, 29. You have to kill the Christians, either they pay you money to live, or they die, or they convert. Okay, listen, uh, listen, Christian Prince, uh, I'm not an Arab speaker, you know, so I'm, li I'm reading it in French, hmm. and in French it does not say that. Well, read for me what it says in the French. Does it say they are fight the Christians it's, and the in Jews? France, hmm. No, 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 in, say, in French it said, hmm. uh, fight, uh, uh, fight those the people who doesn't believe in God mm. and Allah and mm. God who doesn't believe uh, in the end of uh, time. Mm. From who? Huh? From who? Yeah, uh, from the people parmi ceux qui ont le dossier le libisque le propre main après s'être humilié. Yeah, par the some people who own the book, but it's not specific. It's not saying Christian. No, so I don't a, know why you're two same no, things, you know, so I'm no, making no, like a no, no, my Muslim friend. where we no, hate Christian. We no, don't hate my, my friend, my friend. I have many, any, many any, any Muslim kid you know? knew, no, hold on. Any Muslim kid he knew that when you say the people of the book, the Quran means the Christian and the Jews. Don't you agree? People of the book is the Christian and the Jews only. Yes or no? Yeah, yeah, but 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 not in this context, you know. So no, no, it says it says uh, here clearly: fight those who don't believe in Allah, Christians and the Jews, the people of the book, kill them until they pay the jizya or they convert. Very simple. And we can open right now the interpretation for the verse, and you will see this what it says. Even it says that the prophet he ordered to humiliate the Christian, spit in their face when you see them in the street, force them to walk in the sewage. I can share the reference yeah. right now. We can go to Ibn Kathir right now if you don't believe me. If you have Ibn Kathir in English, in, in French, I don't know if you have such a book in French. No, no, no sh show me from, uh, from here. If I can do no problem. Okay, we go, uh -huh. to, we go to Ibn Kathir. Here we go. Hold on. Let us do that. This is Ibn Kathir. This is chapter 9. And this is verse number 29. It says, and we can read together. And we are kuffar, we are filthy dirty. Okay, and then he says, Fight the Christians and the Jews until they pay jizya, and they feel themselves subdued. The ayah means they will be, uh, you, you will be their com uh, compensation for the closed market, blah, 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 blah. So Muhammad, because he told them to close the market from the, uh, the pagans, so he said, then go and kill the Christians, steal their money, the interpretation in front of you. And then he says, Okay, so how do you explain so, much, so many uh, uh, Christians in the Middle East? There are a lot of Christians in the Middle we East. We pay jizya, we pay jizya to live, we pay jizya, my friend. Here we go, the verse in front of you, we pay jizya. Pay every month so you do not die. That's why we stay as a Christian. Muhammad is a thief, you like money only. Pay him, you live, you don't pay him, you die. Or you convert. This is why many they converted. Many they converted, the one who cannot afford it. He could not handle it. He converted just to get rid of this. So the Quran not only order you to make me pay jizya or die, even you have to be humiliated. Read carefully. It says here, uh, this is why the Prophet, this is why the Prophet, he called, until they pay the jizya, for they do not choose to embrace Islam, and yet in Wahum Sagarun, with uh, willing and submission, and defeat. And then he says, and feel themselves sub subdued, disgraced, humiliated. Therefore, the Muslims are not allowed to honor the people of the Dhimma or elevate them above the Muslims, for they are miserable, disgraced, humiliated. Do you see it? And this is why the Prophet, recorded by Abu Huraira, he said that when don't initiate the, Jew, the, the Salam to the Christian and the Jews if you meet them in the road, force them to the most narrow alley. The Christians been ordered, Muslims ordered, when they see a Christian in the road, they have to force him to walk in the sewage. And this is your Prophet saying that. Yeah, 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 man. Hmm. 
man, I don't know, man. Uh, this is disgusting, isn't it? I mean, I see you. Imagine if I see you now in the street because just you are a Muslim. I force you to walk in the sewage. I spit in your face. I insult, humiliate you for what? Just because you are a Muslim. You did not do anything to me. Is that fair, my friend, Muhammad? No. Yes. Okay. What kind of religion is religion? So this yeah, is, but, 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 sadly, you know, but, sadly, but you know, you know for, 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 you know yourself that, you know, most of Muslims, you know, we don't do that now. No, you do. No, 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 you do. You know? No, 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 because in France, you are not the one in control. But if you go, not long time ago, before the, before the Christian became powerful, and they are the one, everybody trying to copy their lifestyle, civilization, etc. The Muslim was doing that not long time ago in Syria. They practice Islam on us. Go to Syria. Go to Iraq. You know? In Saudi Arabia right now, if you preach the gospel, they will, they will, they will kill you. So what are you talking about? You live in France. You are not the one, you know, you are not the one in charge. If Islam is if Islam ruling France, real Islam, not you, then France will be different. Anyone speak against Muhammad will be killed immediately. Everybody have to pay jizya. This is Islam. This is the order of the Quran. This is not a hadith. This is not a statement of me or you. This is Allah's statement, and this is His Prophet explaining. Yeah, listen. Uh, I hear what you're saying, you know, son. I, uh, 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 listen, like I said, you know, son, I'm living. I'm reading your book halfway, you know. Hmm. Um, the many things you say that I, I, I actually did never, never heard about it, you know. Hmm. And I'm still reading, you know, son, like uh, like the name of the Prophet uh, Muhammad was Katm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I never hear something like this. Yeah, Muhammad is not a name uh, because even the Quran, well, what I know even the Quran, my friend. Muhammad was uh, was was one of the the most kind person, you know, someone who was. That's a lie. Up, That's a lie. The, That's a lie. How just. he can be kind? How he be kind? He kind. He rip a woman two pieces when she's alive. Her name is Umm Qurfa. There's a there's books. It's called Ghazawatul Rasul, written by Muslims, written by Muslims, not by me, about the invasion of the Prophet. See and go and see how he torture people, how he put nails in their eyes. How he cut their fingers, he cut his their hands just to enjoy torturing. Even the Quran says that. What are you talking about? Muhammad is a nice person. Is it nice to cut the fingers of your enemy? Is it nice to split the woman to pieces when she is over the age of 80 just because she's, she refused Muhammad? Is it nice? To, okay, somebody, let us say for the sake of argument, somebody he commit a crime. Huh? Commit a crime is a criminal. Is it nice to put nails in his eyes, cut his hands, his feet, put him in the cross, let him die slowly? This is the nice Muhammad. Okay, well, this is Quran. Oh, and I was stunned. Like, no, yeah. This is Quran. So, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Muhammad is nice, but the Quran is not nice. That doesn't make sense. إنما جزاء الذين يحاربون الله ورسوله ويسعون في الأرض فسادا أن يقتلوا أو يصلبوا أو تقطع أيديهم وأرجلهم من خلاف. Chapter five, verse number thirty-three. You read it. The punishment for those who wage war against Allah. What what kind of war? Right now, according to Islam, I'm waging war. And the punishment for me. According to the Quran, is a chapter five, verse mm. number thirty-three. To cut my hands, to cut my feet, to crucify me in the cross. Do you, do you see? It? This is the nice Muhammad. Where, where is the nice Muhammad? Jesus, he said, pray for them, pray, pray, pray for your enemy, love your enemy, pray for them, pray those who curse you. Muhammad, he says, those who wage war against Allah. How you wage war by refusing Islam? Cut their hands, cut their feet, put them in the cross. This is the nice Muhammad. Yeah, because uh, uh, don't, don't forget, uh, you know, son, that, um, uh, the Al Quran, the Sunnah, they said, you know, son, everybody was born Muslim. My and friend, later that you you change, your parents change. So my friend, uh, I don't my know how to explain this. My friend, this is a very stupid statement. With my respect to you, and I, I know you are just telling me what what the Quran says or what Muhammad said. If everyone is born as a Muslim, and then he said that then his parents they change him this was the hadith right so how somebody convert yes. to islam later this means muhammad is a fraud again because there's people who converted to islam and their parents they did not make them convert <laughs> the parents convert you according to him so this is a very silly statement secondly you are born as a muslim what does that mean okay so those who live in the jungle in brazil they are muslims now they did not change anything they are naked in the jungle they are born no. muslims this is stupid and, and even if you ask the Muslim what Muslim means, he doesn't even know what Muslim means. What Muslim means? Tell me. Here we go. You are a Muslim. Do you know what even what Muslim, Muslim means? Muslim so, so, means submission to Allah. False. False. No way. No. That's false, my yeah, friend. Totally. That's false. 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 That's that's false. 
uh, the word Muslim is to surrender. It's an army statement of surrendering. Secondly, when you say surrender to Allah, you don't even know who's Allah. How you can surrender to a person? You don't know him. Who is Allah? Allah is the greatest. Uh, Allah, Allah, you know. Uh, uh, listen. Uh, no, no, don't yeah, tell me. Listen, listen. No, I'm, I'm listening. I'm listening. Who is Allah? You don't know. No, no, no. My, my friend Muhammad, you don't know. Muhammad. Muhammad. No, you say, see, you say to me, is God. Okay, who's Allah? I'm not asking you what he do for a living. I'm asking you who's Allah. You don't know. God. Who said it was God? Muhammad. Okay, who is Allah? You don't know. Did Muhammad speak to Allah? No. Did Muhammad speak to Allah? Allah. Did Muhammad did what? Did Muhammad ever spoke to Allah? Yes, you know, Where? Israel, Miraj, he went to Allah. No, he did not speak to him. <laughs> well, he didn't speak to him, okay, show me. And, he, and, and not only that, he never even heard his voice. He never, he never saw Allah. He never heard his voice. He did not even know who's Allah. Let, let me ask you a question, just to show you, Islam is a, is a, is a, is a joke. I'm not trying to insult you, by the way. I'm trying to have a conversation with you. Just bear with me. If I ask you now, do Allah is Allah is a spirit? If Allah is a spirit, yes. No, Al Quran don't say Allah is a spirit. I'm okay, sorry, so know. what? Who, so spirit, who's Allah? Okay, let us, no, let us go back to zero, guys. Allah if Allah, spirit. Allah is not a spirit. Okay, do Allah have a hand? <laughs> Physical things have hands, uh, Christian. Yes, uh, I just asked you, is Allah is a spirit? You said to me, no. So he's physical. Allah have a hand. Allah have a foot. Allah have a head. So he's physical. You just, I asked you, is Allah is a spirit? You said no. So he is physical, he is not a spirit. Spirit don't have physic. Isn't it you who said to me, mm -hmm. no? Hey, listen, listen, but, but you know, you know the Al-Quran or Sunnah never said uh, you know, that Allah has a body. You know? No, no, so you are wrong. Hey, no, 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 never say, sorry, never no, said no, my friend, here we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, now my friend, you see, with my respect to you, you sound like a nice person. I welcome you to, you know, to call me anytime, but you do not know your book, Thank you. you know? The Quran is, is stated clearly, not only Allah, he have hands and foot, he have two hands, like as an example, chapter 2, verse number 27, verse number 63, it says, Allah have two hands, you know, and if you go right now. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, just give me a minute, you said chapter 2? Yeah. Uh, Al-Baqarah. It, uh, it, uh, actually, you know, there's many, many verses, but uh, let us go, no, let, uh, we go to verse number... Let us see. Uh, we go to verse twenty seven sixty three. Twenty seven sixty three. Okay. Kiron le pacte qu'il Allah, coupe ce que Allah a donné dîner et sema la corruption sur terre. Hmm. Uh, wait, wait, is it 20, 26 and 27 or just 27? 20, sorry, 27 verse number 63. Oh, 27, 27 verse number 63. Number 63. And you can change the, you know, I mean, you have, I don't know how many translations you have, but you will see every Muslim. Uh, I, I'm reading in French. Look, 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 I can read both of them in English and some, but uh, hmm. uh, something that is kind of uh, disturbing hmm. uh, most of the translation in, in French and in English sometimes they are they don't they don't correlate yeah well they are because it like someone because it's, it's a it's a false translation uh, it's a, uh, let, me, let, me, let me give you an example let me give you an example if we go right now yeah. if we go right now to chapter 49 verse number one can you tell me what the translation there says in, in, in the French? Chapter 49, yeah, verse number okay. 1. 49, yeah. yeah. Uh, which verse? Verse number 1. He said, uh, uh, you who believe, yeah. uh, don't, don't take side against Allah and his messenger. Hmm. Does it say? It's kind of weird. It doesn't, doesn't make sense. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Kind of so it says nothing about the two hands of Allah in the translation. No. Okay. Well, here let us At see. All. 
let me show you i'm going to choose translation i will choose all the muslim translation for the same verse here we go this is a muslim website you know and you will uh -huh. see you will see the hilarious translation which is absolutely a lie all over the place each one of them he give us different translation for the same verse and you will not find few of them they say the word that allah he have two hands let us see this is the translation i'm showing on the screen look how many all right this is the translation look. where is the word the hands of allah read this is here dr ghali says literally between the two hands of allah do you see it in the screen do you see it mute you too please yeah. Okay, how come this translation is a Muslim, Dr. Muhammad Ghali? Why he is saying literally between the two hands of Allah and then the rest of the translation, they did not put the hands of Allah. What happened? Where is the word of hands of Allah? It's gone. It's gone. Look, all the translation, I, I choose all the translation in the page. Only one, Dr. Ghali, is saying the truth between the two hands of Allah. Okay, so actually, hmm. wow. Uh, if, we, wow. if we go to the hadith, hold on, we're not done, we're not done. Allah have foot, not only he have hands, you know, and Allah have five fingers. Actually, there's videos, you can search them right now about Allah have a hand. And the Muslim scholar explained to you, yes, Allah have a foot, Allah have a fingers, Allah have a hand, you know, so he is, and I ask you, is Allah is a spirit? You said no. So he is Allah is a physical being. So you believe in a God, you don't know who is he. All what you know, he have hands and fingers. Well, you know. Does the yeah, hadith say... You know that Allah, Allah is not a spirit. You know that too. Because yeah, exactly, exactly. And this That's is this is additional proof that Allah cannot be God. Because in order to be, if, for you to be God, you have the ability to be a spirit. Because the spirit gives you the power of being invisible everywhere but being just a physical being that's mean you have to contain yourself inside the physical space you see when god he came to the earth as jesus as the flesh this is god in the flesh but god is not a flesh so god he took a flesh and appeared to us as a man your god is in the flesh this is how he is look at this hadith here allah he put his Foot in the fire, and then the fire, the hellfire, he says, Qat Qat. Read with me a hadith. And this is Sahih Bukhari, very authentic. The Prophet said, The hellfire will keep saying, on saying, Are there any more? Which means people to come. Tell the Lord of power and uh, of honor, He will put His foot over it, and then it will say, Qat Qati, which means enough, enough. Uh, Allah, He put His foot. What does that mean? Yeah, I see hmm. All Muslim scholars uh, agree. All Muslim scholars agree that this is the foot of Allah. It's a physical foot. You have five fingers. You yeah, have but, 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 but see, in uh, in uh, in Islam, we say that uh, you know, if many of the sheikh agree on, upon something, then is it truth? But here, it's only one person who agreed to it. No, my friend, this is the Islamic sect, and the Islamic sect is the is, is the majority. And your prophet, he says. My people will not agree, the majority of them, in something wrong. So if the majority agree, it must be right. And the majority of Muslims agree in this. Yeah, man. If you don't believe me right now, no. I can go to YouTube. I can go right now to YouTube. I can search for videos. Allah have hands. I will not play them for you because they will, they will complain for copyright. But you can do it yourself. Do Allah have hands? Yes, Allah have hands. Allah has a foot, you know, the Sheikh, he is teaching you and he is explaining to you that Allah has a foot. Here we go. Look, look, all those videos. Look how many. Those are Muslims. Those are not Christians. Does Allah have a hand? The answer is yes. Does Allah, uh, uh, how, how Allah look like? Uh, Allah have a hand. Allah have a foot. Uh, here, this guy, Allah has a leg. The leg of Allah, read it. I mean, this guy is explaining to you how Allah has a leg. He, and he not only that, in the video he says, he, and then Allah, he will show his magnificent, beautiful, magnificent shin. Yeah, but how, how do you explain, Kul huwa Allah ahad, Allah hu samad, Allah hu amilid wa lam yulad. How do you explain that? Okay, that, that's a stupid statement actually, because you just said, Kul Allah hu ahad, Allah, the word ahad in Arabic, yeah. the Allah ahad, that's mean Allah is one off. Make one. 
no, 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 my friend. No, you see, this is wrong Arabic. You see, this is not Arabic word. This is why it's coming stupidly wrong in the Quran. If I type, do, do you see my screen right now? I will put the word ahad for you in the screen. Yes, and you will see, okay, you will see how many times it appeared in the Quran. Look, I just searched for the word ahad. This is the word I had highlighted in the text. Look, this is ahad. This is ahad. This is ahad. Huh? Look. Okay, what? Uh -huh. I will choose. I will choose any verse you choose. I will choose. Let us choose something uh, short, so we don't go and confuse. وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَلَمْ يُفَرِّقُوا بَيْنَ أَحَدٍ مِنْهُمْ. Okay. What? What أَحَدُ is one off. They did not distinguish between any of them. One off. أَحَدُ does not mean one. Secondly, if your God is one or two, who care? I mean, this is um, this is funny, my friend. I mean, you see. <coughs> Let us say, Sorry. let us say, I'm talking to someone who is a Hindu, and he told me, I believe in 1,000 God. All right? 1,000 million. Okay. But if he can prove to me that his gods are millions, he's right, then the number is not important. The question is, you believe in Allah as one or two or three, who care? But Allah is one, is a stupid God. He says stupid things in the Quran. Allah is one, but he said that the sperm of the man came from the backbone of the man. I mean, how the one God, he is one. Now, this is actually make it even easier for me to get Allah busted because we cannot say other God said that. Now we have one God. He is the one who's talking, not the second God, not the third God. So he have one God and his God says that the sperm of the man came from the backbone of the man. But this is wrong. No science agree with such a stupid statement. When the God of the Quran in chapter 86 says that the, the woman, she have a sperm and the sperm is coming from her ribs. That's the most stupid God ever. So he's one or two or three. Who care? He's a stupid God still. Yeah, listen, listen. I uh, I'm not into uh, into the Quran science and stuff like this. Really, I've never looked into it because I don't believe the Quran is uh, like a, like a scientific book. Doesn't matter. Uh, doesn't matter, Quran. my friend. But God, so, uh, Muhammad, Muhammad. When God he speak about yeah. how he created the baby, shouldn't God knew how he made the baby? I mean, come on. This is not about science now. This is about how it made. Forget about science. Science is something we practice and we learn from it. But God now, supposed to his name is Allah, is teaching us how he made the baby. Shouldn't God who made the baby knows how the baby is made? If he gave us yeah. wrong way, ring, ring of formation, that's mean he is not the one who made the baby. If I go right now to a person, he said, I am the one who made the car, but he cannot put the engine together. Obviously, he is a, is a fraud. Correct? You cannot, you, you cannot be a person who make a car, but you do not know anything about mechanic. So the God of Islam, he's telling me how the baby is made. And then we find that this is stupid. So he can't be the God who created the baby. Yeah, uh, yeah. I know science is telling something different, you know, but there are a lot of shakers, you know, somebody can find YouTube who can explain it maybe. Like I said, I never look into this thing, because for me, I, uh, uh, my love uh, for Islam, you know, it's, um, it's just because it's, uh, it will unite us, you know, some black, white. Uh, no, Islam does not unite uh, us. Is, is, Islam, America. Islam does not unite you. Muhammad, he said it clearly. But Islam is Islam is start as a strange and will end as a strange, which means people will leave it. People will 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 will, will deny it. And the proof in front of you, where we can find Muslims are united. You are killing each other everywhere in the world. Everywhere in the world, not a single country have a peace. And it's, the only places have peace is protected by America. America go out like Emirates, yeah. Qatar, Bahrain. The in American France, leave. Listen, in France, uh, you know, we have a lot of respect with each other. You know, I'm, I'm black African, actually. You know. My friend, okay, you are and black I African. Okay, of, hold on. Uh, hold on, my friend. From Morocco, from right. Algeria, from no, you, India, but, 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 Okay, go right now and search how they treat you as a black person in Morocco in Tunisia, in Libya. They treat you with my respect to you in a very ugly, disgusting way. Don't listen to me. Go right now, search in Google. Go search in Google. A guy from Senegal, he married a white girl from Morocco. The whole nation is against them. Go and watch the video. Why? Because he's a, he's a black person. What are you talking about? And as long as you're a black person, what do you think about the prophet? He say that black people, the shaitan is a black. Listen, uh, Christian friend, to be quite frank, you know, listen, I was born in France, you know, and I went to Morocco, hmm. uh, uh, Morocco twice, actually. I never have any problem with them. Because you have a French and citizenship. I have, I have a white, because, a white woman, also. because you have a French citizenship. If you live there as a citizen from different country, go if you are from Eritrea or Ethiopia and see what they would do with you. But because you are protected, you are French. 
go and work there if you are a person who is not from France and see how they will deal with you. Go and ask for a woman to marry you from there. Let us see what will happen. And now, let us not to change the topic. Muhammad, he said, the black dog is the devil. Do you agree with him? No, how, why, why, how, dog is a dog, is an animal. Okay. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would never say something like this. All right, at the see, Christian friend, that's the thing, that's why when I'm reading your book now, and I'm halfway, and I'm, I'm getting angry. Okay, but I'm showing you the reference, my friend, and now, you just said, the Prophet, he never says such a thing, that I show it to you on the screen. So you get angry, no problem, that's a good thing. I want you to get angry, actually, so you can search it and read it and find it if it's true or not. If a Christian prince is lying, laugh at the Christian prince, spit in his face. But I'm not lying. Here we go. This is the hadith. This is in Sahih Bukhari. So, did I lie? No. This is, Sah this is Sahih Muslim. Did I lie? No. It's in front of us on the screen. Here we go. Let us show you. All those are Sahih Hadith. And the black dog is the devil. The black dog is the devil. Let us read this one. Here we go. This is... Let us go to... I think I have uh, you know, some, some, some kind of delay on the internet. This is, this, so is page again. this is Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih Muslim. Uh -huh. Hadith number 5, yeah, 10, a. Hadith, yeah. All right. And this is the Hadith. Here we go. Let us say, Allah Messenger, he said, if any of you uh, uh, stand for a prayer and there is anything before him equal to a black, sorry, equal to the back of the saddle that cover him, in case there is not before him a thing equal to the back of the saddle, his prayer will be cut off by passing off an ass, a woman, and a black dog. I said, Abu Dhar, what feature is there about a black dog which distinguishes it from a red dog or yellow dog? So this is the narrator Abu Dhar has been asked because he is the one reporting the hadith and is a very, very trustworthy companion. He said, Oh my, the son of my brother, I asked the messenger of Allah, the same as you asked me, which means what distinguished the black dog from the yellow dog or red dog? He said, the black dog is the devil. What do you think? And you are the one who just said this is going to be true. Why the black dog is the devil? Well, you yeah. tell me, I don't know. You are the Muslim, not me. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? I agree with you. This is disgusting. This Just because he's black, just because he's black, he's the devil. Obviously, they ask him, what is different between white dog and yellow dog. I mean, why? What the different? What distinguish? Here, read with me. Oh, Abu Dhar. An animal is an animal. Exactly. What distinguish? What is the feature? Is there in a black dog which distinguishes it from a red dog or yellow dog? I mean, even the guy, he was black? just because he's black. <laughs> See, they are talking only about colors. They are not talking about a, a certain dog. He was bad, uh, vicious, maybe. Because some dogs can be, you know, evil, right? But, but yeah. the only difference between them, he's talking only about a black dog. He did not say he did not talk about a dog in front of him. Is any any of those things can disturb your prayer? A man, a woman, a donkey, and a dog. And imagine, my friend, you're a prophet. He put your mother with my respect to her equal to a dog and a donkey. I mean, how in the world this is, can be true? So not only discriminating even animals because of their color consider them the devil just because he is a black so if Muhammad he think that the dog is the devil just because of his color that's mean the devil is a black anyway according to him do we agree no of course not I'm not the devil I'm a nice no person. I'm not saying you I'm not saying yeah. that Muhammad saying that don't take me yeah, wrong yeah, but I'm big, you hey, listen being black cannot, cannot say that no you're you're bad person come on please, please. you you know and I know what I and mean. I've never seen something like this before in my life, man. Does it matter, my friend? I'm showing it to you on the screen. If you don't see it before, now you see it. You have to be honest. You are the man. You see, I respect you that you are a man with dignity and you will not accept such a garbage. Do you accept this? No. Uh, listen, I'm, I'm 37 years old. You know, 37 years I've been Muslim. I did everything. So what? So what? And 20, I'll never 20, like this 27, in my life. 27 years. They you were, my, be loud, my friend, 27 years you were ignorant and now you are seeing the truth. And you see, I'm not making things. I'm giving you the hadith. I'm giving you the page. I'm giving you the website. Everything in front of you. 37. 37. No, wonderful. Even this is more even. Okay, 37. You are a growing man. So 37 years of your life, you never saw this. Thank God. Finally, you saw it. So now what you can do about it? 
You will stay a Muslim following this garbage? A person considered even animals just because they are black, devil? Do you know that Muhammad, he said, the most human being Allah he hate is a black person? No, subhanAllah. 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 Okay, here we go. Subhanallah. Let I us... never heard something like this. All man. right. Man, man, now you're pushing me, man. I'm not pushing you, my uh, friend. I'm not. I'm not. No, you're making me angry, man. Um, you're okay. doing something that I never heard in my life. I'm 37 years old, man. Okay. So... How the hell, man? I've been this, okay. in this... In this religion for all my life, all my family, everybody. All right. But, but okay, so do you accept what Muhammad saying? I am making you angry. And I'm happy I'm making you angry. Because that's mean you are seeing the truth. The truth is making you angry. I'm so happy for you. So, do you accept that a black man is the most person Allah he hate? Why? We're all people. You tell me. Why Allah the most I'm person? I'm telling you, we're all people. How can Allah you know, choose the black man or you know, hate? I'm, I'm, have you to My friend, I'm, 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 I am the one who's asking the question. You are the so, Muslim. Uh, you are you are the you are the yeah but i'm answering you you know son you no, no i'm really getting angry you know, son. come on man uh, because of my skin color i'm a bad person well, to some place. come okay, on man okay i'm not the one saying that your prophet saying that why you are blaming me <laughs> here we go the hate in front of you and this is sahih this is sahih muslim read it the most person allah he hate is a black person let me wait for you on the screen so you get angry, okay, what I can do? I mean, I can. you want me to change the, 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 the statement of your prophet? This is your prophet saying that. The most person oh, Allah he hate, the most Allah, among the creation of Allah, the most person Allah he hate is a black man. Do you see it? Are you looking yeah. at it? Okay, so who is the one who said that? Are you, you say, I'm, you are making me angry. I'm just showing you what your prophet said. And here we go. This is the reference as it is from Sahih Muslim Hadith number 1066G. Sahih Hadith, very okay, authentic. Wait, 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 just, just a minute. Uh, let, let me put it. Uh, oh, baby, I'm in a conversation now. Yeah? Please. Uh, 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 sorry, my wife was coming here. No problem. Like to leave. No problem. I'm talking. I'm angry actually. I don't want to put it on her. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh, it's Sahih Muslim, huh? Mm -hmm. Sahih Muslim, hadith number 1066G. And I'm showing it to you on the screen. Read it. It's in the screen. Yeah, uh, okay. uh, now I see it. Uh, some, some kind of delay. Okay. So what we will do now, the most person Allah he hate between all the creation of mankind is a black person. Why? What What is the color have to do with this? He didn't say an evil person. He says a black person. Who is going to destroy the Kaaba? A black person. Who is the devil? A black person. Who is the most person Allah he ate? A black person. The, 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 the dog is a, is a devil. Why? Because he's a black dog. What do you want more? Do you know tomorrow, you know? Uh, Inshallah, you know, so I'm gonna go see uh, my check, my check. Uh, I'm 100% sure you're gonna tell me this was abrogated. My friend, Before. my friend, what? Hold on, hold on. This is what the what abrogated. This is Allah. He hate, he hate. Uh, Allah he abrogate his hate now. He even hate he abrogate. <laughs> Come on, Muhammad, you are smarter than this. You see, I'm speaking to a grown man. He's 37 years old. What abrogate? Abrogate is about Allah decision of punishment etc this is allah he hate the most person allah he hate already the person is exist is a black man yeah. hmm. muhammad he said kull bayin. kill every pure black animal every black animal why what what's what's wrong with the black animals why we need to kill every black I think black is beautiful. You know? I like black dogs. I like black cats. You, know? you see, for me, I believe, I believe all of all all the creation of God is a creation of God. Their color doesn't make any difference. But when you say obviously you are a filthy racist. So kill. Do you read this hadith? This is Sahih. So kill every one of them, which is totally black. I mean, why you want to kill animal just because they're black? It doesn't make sense. 
Because, because it makes sense to me said, too. You know, I, I, I grew up here in France, and I was born here in France. I grew up here in France. I, for me, it doesn't make sense. My friend, no, not, all. I, nothing. The one thing, you know, nothing. Do you see? Do you see? It says Sahih. In my life. Do you see? It says Sahih. Do you see the reference? It says what? Sahih. Sahih. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So. Uh, kill every pure black. So what the problem? What the problem with those dogs or those animals? They are pure black. If you see a pure black animal, kill him. Why? Because he's a devil. Yeah. Okay. Listen, I don't think you know, some black make you devil, you know, but. Hmm. So what you would do now? You would stay as a Muslim after you heard all of this. You call me. I explained to you, I showed you, do you accept this, 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 this cult? Do you still consider yourself a Muslim? Be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm having some doubt now. I'm going to be honest. That's why I wanted to call you, you know. Okay. So what I actually wanted to refute you, to tell yeah. you that, you know, you're wrong. We're, we're Muslim, we're, we're very nice people. We love each other. Hmm. Black, white, mm. I see in France here, you know, yeah. anytime we go to Juma, you know, okay. we're all brothers and sisters. I never, I never heard about something like that about black people. Yeah, no problem. So my friend, what will we do now? Well, after we learn the truth, even, even Bilal, the most famous black person, he died as a slave. Bilal, after the death of Muhammad, uh, he, he... Christian, please, now you're pushing. No, no, no. <laughs> what, 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 what? Well, as if that is not true. Oh, here we Bilal go. was freed from day one. Uh -huh. Day one. Okay, let us see if this is true. <laughs> it's true from day one. Okay, can you show Come me? On. Can you show me a reference? Come on, okay. Huh? Uh, 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 can you show me a reference? No, from day one, you know that, you know, Sambila, No, I do not know that. Down, you know, his master was very angry, and then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked, uh, I think it was Abu Bakr, to go and buy him, and that's it. Bila was free. Okay, well, let us see. Let us see if this is true or not. Isn't it Bilal who came to Abu Bakr after the death of Muhammad and said to him, if you bought me for the sake of Allah, then release me for the sake of Allah. And if you if you bought me for the sake of yourself, then keep me for the sake of yourself. Did he say that to him? Begin for his freedom. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, are you putting it on the screen now? Because I think my okay. internet is going to uh, 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 Let me find the hate for you. Give me a second, please. Christian Prince, you are pushing too much, man. Yeah, well, I, I am here to show you the truth, my friend. This is what I'm doing. I'm the, I don't waste my time. I see the truth, and the truth will set you free. So let us see where is the hadith. Give me a second. Here we go. That's impossible, Christian Prince, man. I never hear something like this, man. I'm 37 years old, man. I'm not... I was a child, man. All my life, man. All my life, I never hear something like this, man. It's either you're a liar, or you're just trying to uh, trying to trick me. Well, I see. I'm showing you first. Let us see if I can show you the hadith. Yeah, I'm okay. sure you're not gonna find any hadith like this in the sun. Sublime, Christian Prince. I actually nearly believe you, man. Now you're telling me something that's not true. Okay. <laughs> But you yes. know, Christian Prince has been busted today. Yeah, uh, I'm getting busted. Alhamdulillah. How, how you did not bust me anything, but you agreed with me actually. <laughs> <laughs> I just did, man. What you said is not true. Okay. Come uh, on, man. I'm 37 years old, man. How old are you, man? How old are you? I'm very old. I'm born before before Muhammad, before Allah. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, that's not true. Muhammad was born before before Adam. Let us see. Let us see. Let me get you the hadith. Uh, give me a second, I'm trying to find it. Yeah, man, I can give you 100 years. I'm waiting. Guys, everybody who's in the chat, Christian Prince have been busted today. <laughs> Uh, takbir, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. And uh, if I show you the hadith now, what you would do? Show me the hadith. No, I want you to agree. If show I, me the hadith. If I, if I, if I, I, I show... Don't want it down for you. 
Uh, okay, if I show you, if, if I if I show you the hadith, if I show you the hadith, are you going to agree that Muhammad get busted? Because a second ago you said, if I don't show the hadith, I get busted. So if I show the hadith, yes. that means Muhammad get busted. Okay, thank you. If you show the hadith, Muhammad get busted. Right. But I'm sure you cannot find this hadith. Well, here we go. The hadith in front I'm of you. I'm refreshing my page. The hadith in front of you. Here we go. It's in the screen. Sahih al Bukhari. Hadith number seven three seven five five. I want, you to, I want you to denounce Allah and agree that Muhammad got busted. Wait, I don't see, I don't see anything. It's in the screen. On my screen. Refresh your screen. Yeah, I'm refreshing now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Bilal said to Abu Bakr, Ishihaf. Why you are so quiet? Who got busted now? What happened, Muhammad? I was I was busted two seconds ago, and you agreed. If I show you the hadith, Muhammad get busted. Say it then. Say Muhammad get busted. The poor guy is begging for his freedom. Muhammad is dead. Muhammad never freed him all his life. After his death, after all what he did, he became so old. And yet they are still, he is a slave and he, he cannot take it no more. If you bought me for the sake of Allah, then release me, hypocrite. Uh, is this Sahih? This is Sahih Bukhari. It says Sahih Bukhari, hate number 3755. I mean, how Sahih it can be more than Al Bukhari? Hmm. So what do you think? Do you like to be Bilal, the slave of Muhammad? Spending your life as a slave? The person, the, the prophet who treat you nicely? Yeah, the guy, he was a servant. He died as a slave. And it doesn't matter how nice I am to my slave, you are a slave. You are my slave. As simple as that. How ugly is that? A human being want to be nice to a person, he will not accept him to be a slave. He will take him as a friend, companion, not, you know, slave, he's a slave. Bilal used to be ordered to go in the morning to pray, to call for the prayer because he's the slave. The white man is sleeping. Those are the lords, the master, the poor black guy. He have to wake up. They kidnapped him from the middle of Africa, from Ethiopia. They sold him in Arabia. And now he's a slave of Muhammad. He spent his life serving him. Muhammad speak about himself that he is a person who will make a difference. But he did not release him. He died and he still Bilal, he's still a slave. And then after the death of Muhammad, Bilal is going to Abu Bakr, please uh, free me. Why Muhammad did not free him? When I was young, like 16, 17, you know, I, I watched a movie about uh, about this, you know, and it's a movie. I don't know what to, what to tell you, man. It's a uh, movie. It's a fraud. They, they have tons of a fraud to make Muhammad look the best person ever. Muhammad is a fraud. Muhammad, he went to the son, the, his own son, wife, and he flirted with her. What movie? What kind of a person? He go to his own son. Imagine, Muhammad, your father with my respect to your family. He come to your house and he flirt with your wife. What do you think about your father then? This is Muhammad. He went to the house of Zainab. He flirted with her. He said to her, Subhanahu Muallif al Praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart to flip for you. What kind of a man? He said that to a married woman. Married to who? Not only, let us say, it's just a guy, normal guy, a Muslim guy. What, how dare you? He is not only just yeah, a Muslim. But, uh, but Quran said, uh, you know, no, 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 Hadith actually said that, um, uh, uh, Zaid, Zaid, uh, you know, there was a time that Zaid couldn't have even sexual relationship with his wife. No, 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 this that's is not, no, 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 this is not true. Give, uh, no, no, this is not true. I can show uh, it. No, no, I can show you the reference right now from your Islamic books. Zainab, she said, that after the Prophet, he flirted with her. Each time Zaid, he tried to get close to her, Allah, he made his penis swell. <laughs> you know what swell mean? <laughs> 
So Allah don't want the husband to have sex with his wife because the Prophet, he want to have sex with this woman. So each time the husband, Zayd, he want to get close to his wife, Allah bite the penis of Zayd. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, this is the truth. I mean, you tell me, you tell me what kind of God he will make, he will make you as a husband. Your penis is swell, so a guy, the neighbor, because he like your wife. I mean, what kind of God this God is? Muhammad is the neighbor. Think Come about on, him. Yeah. Think about him as he's the neighbor. About, listen, listen, Christian. You're talking about Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. What Allah? There's no, 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 no Muhammad. You see, for me, no, Allah is not. Allah is not Subhanahu. Allah is the devil himself, or is promoting evil. What kind of God? He said to a man who claimed to be a prophet, why you are saying to the man, keep your wife for you, when Allah told you, I made her lawful for you. How he, how she made her lawful for you? She is married. How Allah, he promised a man, his name is Muhammad, a married woman. She is still married. In the same moment, he is talking, making the verse. And what kind of a man, he go to your house when you are not there. Okay, if the man is not there, knock the door. He is not there, you leave. Why he go inside and he see the women stripping or showing her skin and then he flirt with her. And then the wife, obviously she is a bad woman. She told her husband that your father, he was here and he liked me. So the son, he went to the father. He says, father, you know what? I don't like this woman. Take her because he knew already that his wife, she is cheating with him. The woman, she like it. Why she want to be married to a poor man when she can be married to the master? Listen, listen, listen. Uh, I, I actually have, uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of problem with uh, Surat Al Al Zab. Mm. You know, son. Uh, there are many things I, I didn't understand. You know, uh, so you, you will leave Islam or not, Muhammad? Come on, you are a man. You are a man. You are smart. You will not accept a racist cult insulting you consider the devil as a black person the black dog is a, is a devil i mean everything is black is the devil you are a black person how you accept such a cult this is an insult to you christ he made us equal there's no white there's no black there's no greek there's no hebrew there's no free there's no slave all of us we are one by him i mean to that so you are following even when you go okay let me ask you is it true that allah in the judgment day he will make all non-muslims black Is it true that Allah in the judgment day will make all non-Muslims black? <laughs> this is something I've never heard in my life. No. Okay, chapter, on, chapter, like chapter 3 oh, verse... Allah make, uh, you know, son, uh, the devil is black now? Oh, read, 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 read. Everyone, he is not a Muslim, don't accept Islam. Allah will punish him, will make him black. Read it, chapter 3 verse 106. Read your translation. It's on the screen in front of you. Okay, I don't see it yet. Not, uh, hmm. Remember, the Muslim translation tried to make it look nicer. But you cannot make it nicer with me. I will get it busted. This is Quran, chapter 3, verse 106. And I can show you more verses. This is not no, the only okay. verse. Yeah, wait, wait. Chapter 3, yeah. uh, Al Imran. Verse number 106. Verse number 106. Let me go there quickly. 105, 106. You see, you see, you see, it's something. That's what I'm telling you. In French, it doesn't say that. See, they are lying to you. Here we go. Look, 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 look. In fact, you say that the, the, the day of uh, the judgment day, hmm. your, your face will shine. <laughs> shine. It, gonna... it says in Arabic, the sweat do with you, my that. friend. I, Arabic is my first language. I am an Arab. Yo, ma tabiyad do with you. What a sweat do with you. Go to the dictionary right now. Tabiyad and the sweat. Tabiyad became white. The sweat became, became black. Yeah, they are lying to you. And you know what? We can change the translation for you. You see how many English translations we have here? We can change. We can choose a different one. 
It's just, you know, the, 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 day, the day faces will be black and then faces will be became white, as simple as that. Not only that, if you go and read the chapter of the, the ants, you will see, read this one. This is, this is Muhammad, this is Muhammad uh, uh, Hilal and Khan. Look at the translation. On the day, i.e. the day of resurrection, when some faces will become white and some faces will become black. Do you see it? Very clear. This Muslim translation, Muhammad Hilal, Muhammad Khan. This is not a Christian prince translation. They are lying to you, Muhammad. You see, Muhammad, didn't you get it? Didn't you get it until now that they are trying to fool those who don't speak Arabic? Don't you get it? I mean, why it doesn't say that? Why they change the word? Where is the word Chinese coming from? Where it says word Chinese? I want to see it. You know what? You can copy. Muhammad, you can copy this text as it is. Take it to Google Translation. Does it say shine? <laughs> Even a stupid Google Translation will not will not do that. So they are lying to you. Why? Because they are liars. Because they are trying to cover the truth. Islam is based on lying. It's it's legitimate to translate lying because the purpose of this a French translation is not to make a Quran, is to translate fabricated meaning of the Quran so people will accept it. The purpose is to make people believe in Islam. Otherwise, you tell me why. You know, if you go to the chapter 27, do you know the story about a Jassasa? Uh, wait, 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 which story is it? A Jassasa, you know what a Jassasa is? Jassasa, no, I never hear. A Jassasa, uh, no. a Jassasa is exists in the chapter yeah. of the ants, and obviously it's kind of an ant, yeah, but it's a beast. It's Al yeah, right? a, a jassasa. It's it's kind of a beast will come from the ground, and this beast is going to have the staff of Moses in its hand, and the ring of Solomon in the other hand, and then it's going to hit you in your face. If you are a Muslim, Allah will make your face, all your body will become white. In the beginning, he will, he will the beast will. Oh, 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 Chapter, chapter 27, verse number 82. And this is the interpretation for the verse of Amir Kathir. Have you, look with me on the screen, please. Look with me on the screen. Yeah, I'm looking. Okay, the beast, uh -huh, will, yeah. the beast will emerge from the earth, and with it will be the staff of Moses and the ring of Solomon. All right? Peace be upon them both. It will strike the nose of the believers with the staff. Okay? And then here the translation that says will become bright with the ring. But look how, how, how we expose their lies in the translation. If you go down a little bit, look what it says. It will strike the nose of the disbelievers yeah. with the ring, and it will make the face of the believer bright with the staff. Enter when people they gather to, uh, for me will say one to other, believer or disbelievers. And then it says here, he described the beast, and then he continues saying the following. I want you to read with me, please. Read with me carefully. Okay. And then he says, okay, hold on. There will be no believer without its making a white spot in his face, which will spread until his face is shining white as a result. And there will be no disbeliever left without making a black spot in his face, until which will spread until all his face is black as a result. Do you see it? Yeah. Hmm. So Allah will make all bad people black. All good people white. Uh, hmm. What do you think? Uh, all right. This is gonna be true, man. This is a true one. This is a book of Mikathia. This is a Muslim website. Here we go. Let me show you the link. Let me show you the reference. Let me show you the web page. Here we go. This is your Islamic page. Everybody can see it. Read with me here, Kofari. QuranX.com. And this is Ibn Kathir. 2782. And here you donate to the Muslims to build a mosque. And this is here. It says Ibn Kathir. Read it. Ibn Kathir. Hmm. You see it? This is your Muslim website. Yeah, I see it. And by the way, the English translation of Ibn Kathir is not the same as the Arabic. In, in Arabic, is more truthful, for sure. The English one is 50% uh, of the true Ibn Kathir is gone in English. They're trying to make it look nicer. So what do you think about Allah making all the black 
from the bad ones and all the good ones the white one what do you think disgusting disgusting okay what about allah he created the black people from the beginning to go to hell you heard of this before no okay isn't it allah he said when he created adam that he created the white man if somebody have the link for the for the hadith post it in the chat please so he can click on it and open it from his side Allah he created the children of Adam the white from the left from the right shoulder of Adam he hit him in his shoulder and they were born like white ants and he said you go to heaven and I don't care and he created the man the black man from the left shoulder of Adam and he says you go to hell and I don't care Someone put the link here, so let me go, go to read. Uh, yeah, open it, open it, open it and read it. And here we go, we'll put it in the screen so everybody can see with me. All right, thank you, uh, admin, for posting it. This is the link, the Muslim website, and this is at Turmudi. Allah Messenger said, He created Adam when he had to, to create him, and he stuck him his right shoulder, and then immediately from commit white of spin hmm. as if they were white ants hmm. he struck his left shoulder and then emit from the black of string hmm. okay and then what he as said if they were charcoal and as the, if they were charcoal yes as if they are charcoal he is making fun of their look they are charcoal and then he says and he says from the, the one from the right shoulder for paradise those are the white and i don't mind i don't care and the one from the left shoulder which means the black, like circle, go to hell, and I don't mind. Do you see it? Yeah. Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. So, I, is he trying to tell him that Allah actually desired me to go to hell? He created you, according to Muhammad, all black people from the left shoulder. Do you know what left mean in religion? Left mean always the wrong, the yeah. bad ones. Right mean the right one. So the white people, according to the faith in Muhammad, created from the right shoulder because they are the right hand, they are the right people, they are the good people. And according to Muhammad, the black people, the African, created from the left shoulder of Adam because they are wrong, they are bad, according to Muhammad. Look how faithy he is. Yeah, Mr. Prince, uh, I, listen, I, I have to agree with you, you know. I, I never say something tense like this you know, in my life, man. Okay, so... After 37 fucking years, man. How the hell am I hearing only from you, man? I have no comment, my friend. I understand. We, we don't we don't like to hear bad language, but I understand you are saying the F word. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just angry. I'm just very very angry. Yeah, I understand. This is why I did I'm not. Very, I did not. Angry. This is why I did not stop you. I'm sorry, Chris. I, I don't okay. want to cause in your in your channel. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I actually came here to debate you, to refute you. You know. Yeah. But now you are saying the F word to Allah, yeah. and now you end saying the F word to Allah. How that can can how a human being can change? Thirty seven years of your life. Worshipping the false god who hate you for you are a black person, and now after speaking to me for some time, you are saying the effort to Allah. That's a. That's the know. first time I say something like this, man. Yeah, but I understand. It's okay. I understand. Allah is the devil. I don't blame you. Allah is the devil. God, He did not create the black people to go to hell. That's not true. God, don't take you to heaven or to hell because of your color. That's not true. Jesus said the fundamental. Yeah, doesn't matter. I was born. I was born black. I didn't ask to, uh, to be black. Doesn't matter what you care, my friend. Who care? The Lord, He said. Exactly. The Lord, He said, from their fruits you shall know them. He never said from their color. From their fruits. So if your fruit is good, you are good to the Lord. You are black. You are Asian. You are white. Who care? If your fruit is ugly, He will recognize you by your fruit, not by your color. The Lord, He said, not everyone says to me, God, God will enter the kingdom of my Father, but the one who do His will. It doesn't matter if you're black or white or who, who care. So this is obviously a very filthy cult. I hear you crying, my friend. So I'm hurt. Well, I know it's hurt. I know. I understand. I'm so hurt, man. I don't blame you. Let your tears wash your, your, your eyes, my friend. You prayed for the wrong God for 37 years. Worshipping the God who hates you today. I'm 
Sorry, Christian, I didn't want to go there, you know. No, 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 I mean, I respect you. Actually, you have a lot of respect from all of us. Real men is the one who cry when they see the truth, my friend. Don't worry about it. I'm 37 years old. I'm a, I'm a grown up man, man. I'm married. I have, I have two kids. May the Lord bless your family, my friend. And now you see that the Lord, He blessed you. He blessed you with a beautiful family, so nothing wrong. Still, you can continue. And I invite you right now to no, accept the no, Lord no, the Messiah. No, you don't understand, man. I forced my wife. You know, she's a white woman. I forced her to be Muslim, man. Well, you can fix that. No problem. You can she fix. Love me. She, she, yeah, you can fix she that. Agreed, you, know? you can fix that. You can tell her the truth. You can tell her that this is a garbage religion. We will not be there no more. That's it. She loves you. She will understand. And you can show her the reference and the, the reason. You force her, that means it's easy for her to leave because you force her. My family didn't want to marry her. She has to change her religion, you know. That's why I'm, I'm hurt right now. I understand. But not, never late, my friend. Never late. The Lord is still, He loves you. And the Lord, today as we speak, He made me stay longer so I can receive your call and make things work in the best direction for your life. The Lord is using me and using you so we can be together a light for the family, which is your family. All right. And I invite you, as we speak now, to accept the Lord, the Messiah, as your Lord, as your Savior. There's no name better than him. Go and read what he said. Go and see his teaching. Go and see the wonderful things he did. He is the living Lord, even in the fifth Quran. The Messiah is right now, as we speak, is listening to us. He is up in heaven. Every man die, every man in the grave, every man became a dust, except Jesus, he is in heaven. Glory to his name. So I invite you, my friend Muhammad, to accept the Lord as your Lord, as your Savior, and so you can be saved and your family can be saved. All right, please impress my own. Um... Do you accept the Lord as your Savior? Do you accept the Messiah? If he doesn't discriminate me, yes. I mean to that. Hallelujah. A happiness in the heaven of God for Muhammad. If he doesn't discriminate me, he won't discriminate you. How he will discriminate you? How he will discriminate you? You see, the person who discriminates you, he will not call you a child of God. Today, now, you are not a slave of anyone. It doesn't matter if you are black or free. You are a child of God. You see, do you know what, what Jesus said, how to pray to the, to the Father? He says, Father, our Father. We are slaves. Our God don't need slaves. He is God. He is glorious. Only sick ones need slaves. So our God, he said to us, when you pray to me, don't call me Master. Don't call me Lord. Call me our Father, art in heaven, because we are his children. So today, you accepted the Messiah and you are his child. What discrimination? You are a child in the kingdom of the Lord, the King of Kings. My name is a Christian prince. Why? Is that because I own slaves? No. Is that because I'm rich? I'm very I'm a poor man. I am prince, for my father is the king of kings. He made me a prince, and he made you a prince. And your wife, she is a princess, and your children, they are children of God as we speak now, and there's a happiness in heaven for you. Except that I accept the Messiah. That's my savior for I, today. I mean to that. I mean to that. I'm and so I'm happy. Gonna reject, I'm rejecting Islam, man. I don't know how I'm gonna go miss my wife, man. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord for that. I never, I never. Did you ever call me before, Muhammad? No. No. Okay. Uh, how, I read your book. I was angry. How How you heard about me? One of my friends. Who was the Sheikh? And who? I think he's not Muslim anymore. He's selling me the book, you know. Okay, so he, he, he read said, Muhammad, you have to read this. He read, he read the book too. He's a, he was a sheikh, you say? Yeah, he was a sheikh. He, he was, was a sheikh. He read France. my book he and he let us down. What do you want more? Uh, Switzerland. Well, he's my good friend, you know. So he sent me the, your book, you know. And I have it like, a, like two months, you know. I didn't want to read it. Then I started reading it. Then I get angry. Because I'm going to the chapters, you know, you're talking about, uh, uh, you're talking about Katam, you're mm. talking about uh, the, the name Muhammad, you know, and these things I never heard in my life. 
Yeah, that's what I'm How hearing. come, man? I'm a grown up man. I'm 37 years old, man. How the hell? I'm sorry, uh, I'm just getting angry right now. How I didn't hear, hear all these kind of things, man? Yeah, it's okay, my friend. There's many people, they are born in Arabia, they speak Arabic, they never heard those things too. So it's not only you. A lot of, uh, you know, the, the whole world is living in ignorance. You know, people, they think they have knowledge, but the fact they don't. And that's why I'm here. And my, my friend is a, is a Moroccan, he's a Moroccan, you know. Oh, the one who left Islam is a Moroccan, the Sheikh? Yes, he's a Moroccan. You okay. know? He was one of my good friends. We, we, we grew up together. Actually, we were, we were playing since we were in a child's school together. Okay. And then because of him, you know, I become uh, you know, I'm a very, very uh, devout Muslim. So he was a. He, he sent me this book. Yeah. He was a sheikh. Huh? In the, he was a sheikh in the mosque. He's an imam in the mosque. The one who left Islam. He, yeah, he was an imam in the mosque. He left. Uh, you know, he studied Islam, but all in France. You know, all in France. Mm. He never left France. Actually, you know. Mm. Actually, when he read your book, he told me uh, two years ago something changed my life. Uh, because you and me grow up together, I want you to uh, open your eyes and uh, read this thing. Mm. So he sent you the book. He said, yes, to you, "Read this book and see what." I happen. didn't. Yeah. Yes, but I didn't finish the book. I'm angry already, you know, so in the beginning of the book. Yeah. I understand. Uh, well, our heart and our prayer with you and your family. And today I ask all the brothers and sisters here to pray for Muhammad family. And by the way, I don't want you to change your name. I want you to be Christ follower and your name is Muhammad. Don't change your name. Ma'roof. Ma'roof. Your name is Ma'roof? Muhammad Ma'roof. Oh, Muhammad Ma'roof, okay. Well, I mean, I don't change your name. I mean, I yeah, I want to be more proud of you that your name as a Muslim, still you believe in the Lord, the Messiah. All right? For example, you, you don't know what you're doing to my life today, you know? Probably my family going to reject me from, from my parents' yeah. side, I don't know. No, nobody will reject you, my friend, because you are accepted they will, by... They will. You are accepted. Who cares? No, don't. No, let me explain to you. You see, if I tell you how much problems I, I, I face because of what I do, you will not believe it. Me, myself, I'm not, I'm not a Muslim, right? But because of what I do, a lot of people, they stay away from me. They don't even say hello because they are afraid. This guy is wanted by terrorists. Everybody want to kill him. Maybe if we shake hands with him, he will shoot at us when he's talking to him. So people, they stay away from me because everybody is terrified. That is horrible for me as a human being. You know, you want to have a friends, you want to go out, see some people. Nobody want to be with me for they are terrified. But I am not terrified. They are. They are cowards. I am not. I am with the Lord and the Lord, he is my family. He will give me all the family I need. I have millions of people who loves what I do. I have a bigger family than any family you can imagine. So don't worry about a family, my friend. The Lord always will provide to you the love you want. He is with you. He will be within your heart. He will be wherever you go, with your wife, with your children, and he will sponsor you. Who need more than this? The Lord is what going to save us. My father, he die. Your father, he die. My mother, your mother, they, everybody will die. But one day, we have only one savior. His name is the Messiah. Seek your salvation, not a person who will say to you, you are my son. My son is what the Bible says. The children of God are the one who they are going to be saved. So seek your salvation and don't worry about the Lord. The Lord always will provide you. You are not alone. And you will never be alone. The same as me. I just told you about how many people... I remember once I was visiting a Christian family and then they saw uh, a video, I mean a TV, it was a TV, ABN TV. And I called the TV, actually the debate, it was a debate, playing my debate. And then they said, is that your voice? I said, yeah. And the second they heard this, they changed. They don't want, they never invited me again. They never called me again. Why? Because they are scared. They are terrified. They said to themselves, this guy, maybe God knows how many ISIS terrorists are following him. They are worried about their family, you know. But, you know, for me, this is a very upsetting. I mean, instead of being proud of me, of what I do, they don't want to be, they don't want to have me in their house. Even in their heart, they knew that I'm doing the right thing. But there aren't people who they are afraid. They have children, they have wives, they have family. 
they don't want to be in trouble because of somebody like me. But I am alone. I will never be alone. Never. And I don't care who want to speak to me, who don't want to speak to me. Like I said, because sometimes you are changing my life, you know, honestly. I'm I did not, sure tomorrow. I did not change your life. It's, I, it's a I, have my my brothers, I have to tell my brothers and sisters, you know, and I, I don't know, man. I want you first. I'm sure they're going to reject me. I want you first to speak to your wife uh, and, 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 and explain to her that why you left Islam, so she will leave Islam too. And then you can tell the rest and do what you need to do. Start with your family first, my friend. Family is the most important. The rest, they are not your yeah. wife, they are not your children. Care for those first, and then if they don't want to listen, the rest, this is their business. Everybody choose his his uh, his uh, uh, you know his choice of life and choice of even of salvation. If they don't want it's up to them, right? Yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah. I will talk to my wife today. You know, I have to convince her again. You know, to remove her again from these calls, man. Christian uh, uh, Prince, man, I swear, man. My family, they all didn't want me to, uh, to marry her, you know, and I have to force her you know, to change her religion so that she can marry me. And she loves me. We were like sweet, school sweetheart, you know, and I know her since, since I was like eight, nine, you know. Yeah. Well, I'm happy for you. And, it's good. Uh, and, uh, yeah, Christian uh, Listen, I don't know, I will check your, your channel again. One of the time I'm going to call you, I'm going to tell you, you know, what happened. But I have to talk to my wife today. All right. And thank you, man. You're thank welcome. you. You're welcome. You're welcome, my friend. God bless you. You showed me something that I've never seen in my life, man. I'm 37 years old. I've been a stupid man for 37 years old. It's for 37 okay. years, man. But remember, 15 minutes ago, you said the Christian prince got busted. <laughs> you remember? Yeah. <laughs> That is something funny, but it's good to remember, you know. I was good. sure because what you are saying, you know, I never heard it in my life, man. Yeah. And I'm not a small boy. I'm not like a small boy who's okay. No, I'm a family man, you know. Yeah, it's family right. man. I have a great job. I have a nice woman. I have kids. So. Yeah. You should understand me too, Christian. Ah, uh, another time I'll tell you what happened. Okay. All right. Well, I'm so happy to have you, my friend, and yeah. you feel free to call me. And if you need any help with your wife, she can, you know, you can call with her, and I will be happy to help her too. That, that would be great, man. If yeah. I cannot convince her, honestly, I really want you to, to talk to her, you know, son. Yeah, no problem. Because she, she's too in this, uh, this, and this more than me now, you know. Uh. Don't worry. God is good. Uh, Christian, thank you. Thank yeah. you very much, man. You're welcome. And I, I call you to pass you, but at the end you show me something I've never seen, man, I, as a black person. And I keep everything. Yeah, I don't know what to say, man. You, you don't I was have to so say anything. I'm angry today, man. Yeah, it's okay. I, you know, you say it all. And uh, the important is the result is not what happened. The result is very important, you know. We are successful to save you and to save your family. God is willing. And now you saw the truth, and the truth will set you free. You are free. Today you are free. You are free. No more slavery. You are not following the slave owner, Muhammad. All right? Yeah. Any, yeah. Anything no, else you want to add, man. my friend? No, anything, not, yeah, anything else you want to add? No, no, no. Nothing else, man. Because something is enough. Is enough. I, I had my doors today. Um, I right. think I want to sleep good today, you know? All right. Well, I, I, will, I will pray for you, and I ask all the Christian family here to, to pray for you and your family. And uh, God is good, and He will be with you. Yeah, and I said, yeah, me, Muhammad Aruf, uh, I accept Jesus Christ as my Savior today. I mean to that. I mean to that. God bless you, my friend. Okay. Feel free to call me anytime. Goodbye, uh, take, take care. Take care. Yeah, goodbye, Christian friends. Right. Thank you.